Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to go ahead and show you guys this product for my 2023 Toyota Tundra. It's called Carista. So this little device plugs into your OBD port right under your foot well on the driver's side. And it connects via Bluetooth, I believe. This gives you a ton of access to your vehicle. One of the main reasons why I bought this is for the seatbelt chime. I want to be able to turn it off because as you guys know, Toyotas are notorious for having that annoying seatbelt chime that as soon as you remove it and you drive for a little bit it'll beep constantly and it's just very frustrating it'll same thing for the passenger and the rear passengers as soon as they take off the seatbelt it just beeps the whole time unless you stop and plug the seatbelt back in and some other things that you can customize with this is being able to roll down the windows with your key fob so we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to install this right. so it only goes in one way all right so i'm going to show you guys where to plug this in first all right guys so here we are right here on the footwell of the driver's side. Right here is the front hood latch and it's gonna be right next to it. Okay, so again, it only goes in one way. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. All right, not sure if you guys can see that, but it does have a light on it. That way you know it's plugged in. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the car. So go ahead and turn on the car. We're gonna go ahead and go on our phone and connect to the app. All right, so you have the Carista app right here. Go ahead and click connect. We have the Carista OBD, uh, let it access the Bluetooth, and it should just connect automatically. All right, so it did find the device. I'm gonna go ahead and name this Tundra. All right, so as you guys can see, it gives you the VIN number. It gives you like diagnostics and then any service and live data so if you want to look into those things uh, but me i mostly got this for customization so i'm going to go ahead and do the customize so it, we're going to let it load it's going to take a while maybe like a few minutes so we'll let it do its thing all right so that took about a minute or so but here we are we have things and warnings so that is the one thing that I do want is seat belt warning this is for the driver we're gonna go ahead and disable that okay. uh, there is a subscription so you have to pay the monthly subscription which I think it's a bit of a ripoff but I'm just gonna go ahead and use it and then get rid of it as soon as I disable everything all right, so you do have the one month free trial, but you have to choose the 12 month subscription. So as you can see here, it says free one month trial because you have the Carista OBD2 adapter. So don't use the one month subscription. So one month, make sure you cancel it before the one month is over. All right, so January 31st, your trial ends. You'll be charged automatically unless you cancel it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and disable the seatbelt warning for the driver's side. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do it for the front passenger too. The rear passenger also, both left and right. And the center. All right, here's the one thing is the windows. 
open windows and sunroof via long press on remote. Okay. Go ahead and turn that on. Uh, this one is open windows and sunroof by turning and holding the key and door lock. So basically you take out your key and put it in the keyhole. But I don't need that. All right. So everything should be enabled. We're going to go ahead and test that out. Go ahead and press the unlock. And there should be a press and hold. There you go. All right, here's the closing the window function with the key. Okay, so the windows work. We're gonna go ahead and test out the seatbelt chime next. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and drive around. As you guys can see, the seat belt sign is on. That means I don't have my seat belt on. All right, usually the seat belt chime will start going off right about now, but we're gonna go ahead and drive it around a little more just to show you guys that it works. So again, no chime still. We're gonna go a quick lap around the neighborhood. So it looks like it works. I'm gonna go ahead and check out the app, see what else, what other customizations I can do, but so far it works. Make sure you guys like this video. If that helped you guys out, hit that subscribe button. All right, see you guys later.